I'm Ozzy Griffin, and this is a response to Hannibal the Victor 13's video on uh, on fr the supplemental stuff about fringe elements and the real racists on YouTube. And I got to tell you, man, I get in this conversation uh, on a I'm watching urban legend videos, and one link leads to another. I'm le watching one about atheism, and um, I leave in the comments section that I would actually very much like to understand what I do and the experiences I've had from a mystic, non-mystical uh, science and skepticism based standpoint. I'd love that. And I said, yeah, I'll shout you dinner if you're down here in Victoria, Australia. <laughs> I'll, as long as it's a place with iced tea that I like. Now, did that come across as sarcastic? Probably so, because somebody responds very sarcastically to me in the comments section. Um, and I just say to them, you know, uh, it was Smith Polly, uh, I think was the name of the channel. Uh, I'll chuck a, a link in down in the description box. I actually like this individual. I just think that they were really bitingly sarcastic with me. And I've got to say, I, I tried being earnest. I, I could have responded with sarcasm and vitriol. And I just said, you know, that's probably not going to get the best. And I, I like to think the best of people. So I just said, you know, no, I... I have doubts about my own abilities and I um, see inconsistencies in it sometimes and I'd like to analyze it more. It's just some stuff seems mass massively consistent and I don't understand how it works. Um, and then they start saying, well, what do you do? And I'm sorry, like, okay, fair enough, an even question there. I say, well, I'm an intuitive and I help people do this and I help people do that. Um, and I try and do it at a cheap price because I'm more interested in helping people with their problems and uh, giving a, a judgment-free space to do what they do and voice what they feel they need to voice um, and thusly in increase the value of their lives. That's what I do for a cheap price. And they're like, oh, well, you're just trying to get, you know, advertising space. And I'm thinking in a comment section of a video like this, yeah, right. You know, um, oh, well, then you're just helping people read self-help books. One, what's wrong with that? Two, it's, that's a straw man attack, even though I had a lot more comprehensive information there. I watched somebody who is supposedly championing reason become little better than a troll. I'm being earnest with them. I sent him a link to Neil deGrasse Tyson talking to um, Joe Rogan, you know, on his podcast and saying, you know, this might be a better argumentation strategy when you deal with people like me, just for future reference, you know. Did I come across as arrogant? Maybe. Was it deliberate? Certainly not. However, the truth is, as much as any group or individual wants to believe that they know better. There's a point between knowing better and being dismissive on good grounds when somebody's just being stupid and someone earnestly laboring under the a misconception and you passing up an opportunity to make them as well informed, if not better informed, than yourself. So me... I just watched somebody scuttle their own chance to have a good, fruitful conversation, maybe even strike up a friendship, because from what I saw of this person's uh, YouTube uh, account, like just skimming the first page of their uh, activities on YouTube, they were a very agreeable individual. I quite liked them. Just a bit of a sore spot, maybe. I don't know. They wouldn't talk about themselves. We didn't have much of a conversation between peers and they wouldn't PM me back so uh, who knows who really really knows anyway I wanted to do this response just to say that you know it doesn't just end at one particular belief sometimes it's the belief in yourself that you're unwilling to question that can be just as destructive anyway Mozzie Griffin I hope this doesn't mean too rambling you have a good day